Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Now, in today's episode, I wanted to talk about the latest layoffs at e and Now, there's been a lot of layoffs this year, the Big Four Accounting Firms, and we've kept track of that in the layoff tracker, and we'll cl- include a link to that in the description to this show. But specifically, I wanted to talk about e and latest layoffs. Uh, it's garnered a lot of attention and it follows right after PwC announced layoffs in Canada. And there's been a laid, a lot of chaos in the big four accounting firms since I last did a podcast, but this, these E and Y layoffs, there's not, they're not that big of a deal to me because it's really not that many people. And it's exactly what we've been saying all year that if you're in consulting uh, you're you're always a threat to get laid off because you guys make a ton of money when when the economy is doing well. Consulting makes a lot of money, but when the economy does bad, it's extremely easy to cut back on consulting because the clients cut back on consulting. So you know the exact group where you have to cut your people, and it's consulting. And diving even deeper into that, when there's a downturn and people aren't spending on M&A and private equity, then you're going to go ahead and, and lay those people off. And that's what happened here. It's not that big of a deal. The Wall Street Journal, other publications are writing this up as if, oh, the big core accounting firms are actually firing partners now. So things are getting really bad. And it's like, okay, which partners are they firing? Well, they're firing the consulting people because- the the exact work that those people were hired for is no longer available. So like you don't you're not going to pay them millions of dollars to just sit around. Um, which is it's kind of a crazy concept to think about because they're partners in very specific areas. But it, and it's like if if the economy does turn around and you have a lot of M and A transactions, you're going to need those people back. But unfortunately, by then they're probably going to have a job, so you'll be behind the the eight ball then. But this latest round of layoffs from EY is not that big of a deal. And the big four accounting firms have been laying people off all year, even though they've been trying to paint a rosy picture. Economists have been trying to paint a rosy picture of the economy. Well, they're all laying people off now, all the big four accounting firms. And this is just the first wave, uh, in, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. Some of them have done second rounds, but th- these are very light layoffs. Like these aren't, these aren't huge layoffs. And earlier in the year, PNY, you know, ENY announced that they were going to lay off like 3,000 people in the U.S. as a result of the failed transaction, but that was really just just the people they would normally let go during a, a normal year. Those are like the people that are on for performance plans. And if I were ENY and the other big four accounting firms, the people that really just sit around doing nothing, you should go ahead and fire those people. Uh, whether you put them on performance plans or not, like I don't even think you need to. Those people just fire there's so many people in the big four at least i mean i would say there's probably 50 percent of the people at the big four accounting firms you could lay off and you would really see no impact at all to the firms and this is anywhere in the world too uh, it doesn't matter if it's if it's support people overseas or if it's people actually facing the client a lot of times it's people just moving papers around doing admin And there's a lot less admin to do when you have less client work to do, especially in consulting. So we're only going to see this ramp up. And all of these layoffs, big four accounting firms don't come up with them themselves. They see their clients do them. And if you read a lot of articles, then there's the banks are laying people off. Silicon Valley's been laying people off for a couple of years now. But now it's, it's the really big clients like banks are laying off thousands of people. So the big four accounting firms, what they do is they do everything. They're they follow what the mainstream, the largest companies do, and the largest companies right now are reducing headcount. So if you're going to lay people off, it's the perfect time to do it because everybody else is doing it, and nobody's going to raise any questions about you doing it. Uh, the problem is Wall Street Journal wrote an article about them, and this is a small amount of, of partners and. These partners were likely sitting around doing nothing because 
if you're a partner, it's pretty hard to get laid off. But there's some partners that don't have enough clout or don't have enough. They don't know I have enough goodwill built up in the big four accounting firms to stay. Like they, they were brought on from Accenture or somewhere else like that. And they brought, um, you know, a skill set. You can't really bring clients from another firm because you have to have a waiting period. But, you know, you probably brought a very specific skill set. And then you came over with no clients and then you immediately lost all this work or, or the clients that you were going to work on no longer providing work or doing transactions. So they let you go. But in this later round, this latest round of layoffs at EOI, I don't feel it was a big a deal, even though everybody's writing it up as that. But it's good to keep an eye on the layoffs. And to do that, you can check out our tracker that's going to be in the show notes to this, where we're keeping track of all the 2023 layoffs. And pretty soon we're going to have to change that to 2024 because 2024 is right around the corner. But that's the episode for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and also check out the show notes. Thanks for listening.